Hi, this is uh, another couple of progressions from the Rhythm Guitar Playing Book, this time for Grade 2. Um, watch out for the repeat in both of these because it's a little bit different. All you do is you go up to the repeat sign as normal, go back to the beginning, but then when you're repeating, in other words the second time, we go to where you see the number 2. In other words, completely missing out anything that's written under the number 1 section. They call it a first and second time ending. Now I'm going to use a rhythm that is suggested by the book straight away and we're just going to play through each one once. So here we go. If you do get lost in that, it's better to sometimes just listen through before you start playing and try and follow the score. Uh, and then once you're clear on where it's going, just try it then. So on to the second one in 3-4. So there we are, just a couple of things to mention. First of all, we've got an F chord for the first time. If, you, if you've never played this chord before, it is a particularly difficult chord. It uses what we call a half bar. So whether you're covering two, three, four strings, they, they call this a half bar as opposed to a full bar, which is when you put your finger right across all the strings. Um, we're covering the first two strings, trying to keep that finger flat and then bending the other two fingers to get a clear sound is obviously the, the difficult part because this finger wants to come up and these want to go down. You will find you know, your own comfort zone. There's lots of ways of playing it with the thumb in different positions. Just, just, just try it out and experiment. There's no right or wrong, um, but it can be frustrating, so bear with it. Um, and the other thing is just this change that they've got there between G and G7. Obviously, there's your G. Changing to G7 means you change all your fingers around which if you have to do quickly is quite, again, quite difficult, um, for the sake of one note, this one. That's the only thing that changes, listen. So a lot of players get into the habit of playing the G like this. You would have seen me do it in the second progression. So there I'm using my little finger on the high note. And then this prepares you a lot better for the change to G7 because all we do is put the first finger down, take the little finger off. And there's your G7. G to G7. Okay.